Today, we will tour the top 10 exotic places in Norway to visit. So if you like it, please do like, comment, and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. So let's start our tour to Norway without the time. Undoubtedly, Norway is a fantastic place and it's full of adventure. It is majorly famous for its mountains with its famous fjords. In addition, there are a lot of picturesque cities here. It is a beautiful place in this world. You can explore these picture-perfect landscapes by foot, car, bike, or boat. You will experience the unique northern lights, the summer glistening in the summer season on the giant glacier. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Norway. Alessand Located on Norway's west coast, Alessand is the gateway to the iconic northwestern fjords and surrounding alpine mountains. This city was rebuilt after a massive fire in 1904, which destroyed most parts of the town. At present, the city has Owen's picturesque appearance. The city was rebuilt with stone and brick in the architectural style of the time and stands today as a perfect example of jug and steel design. There are a lot of breathtaking views of the surrounding fjords and mountains here. You can experience it here in the beautiful, colorful town in the water. Here, each building has some beauty in it. It will be a unique experience to roam in the city, but a boat is in the water. Tromso This place is located in the far north of Norway. Tromso is almost set on an island full of lovely blue fjords and spectacular snow-capped mountains. It is one of the northernmost places you can visit in Europe, and this city lies around 350 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. It is one of the best sites in Norway from which to view the northern lights at night. Visiting Tromso can be great fun with loads of pubs on offer, a healthy cultural scene, and lively nightlife. You will experience the vibes of both city life and village life here. You will share a different level of view at night because of aurora bells in the sky and the city's light flashing in water. In addition, you will experience a movie life here. Trondheim the Trondheim city founded in 997. Norway's third largest city was its capital during the Viking Age and the nation's religious center during the Middle Ages, making it a fantastic destination for travelers. Everyone who wants to explore Norway's history must visit this place. It has something special for everyone. Alongside its rich cultural heritage, there is a contemporary art and music scene due to the giant university campus. Trondheim, there's something for everybody founded in 997, the third largest city in Norway. It was the capital of the country during the Viking Age and the religious center of the nation during the Middle Ages, making it the ideal destination for those who want to explore the history of Norway. The city abounds with remnants of the past from Sverisborg, a restored 12th century castle, to the Cathedral of Nidaros, the northernmost cathedral in the world. Jutenheimen National Park Jutenheimen, also known as the home of the giants, is Norway's premier national park. This place is located in the south-central region. This park consists of some mountains where you will find the highest peaks in Norway. This place is also the home of Vettifossen. This place has the highest waterfall in Norway, which is at the height of 900 feet. Visitors can do activities like mountain climbing and skiing. In addition, tour companies and trekking associations provide outdoor adventures for every age and skill level visitor. Sonja Fjord, nicknamed the King of the Fjords, Sonja Fjord in Vestland Country, is the largest and deepest fjord in Norway. Found at stretching over 200 kilometers in length, it goes through the west of the country, through the North Sea to the alpine peaks of Jutenheimen. Svalbard this place is the Arctic north of Norway is a land where you can find a lot of snow-drowned peaks and glaciers and forbidding icebergs. Here, the visitors come mostly to experience the Arctic nature at its rawest. No doubt, it is a once-in-a-lifetime destination. This land is a place where polar bears are twice as common as the people. It is located between the Arctic Ocean, the Barents Sea, the Greenland Sea, and the Norwegian Sea. Svalbard has been a group of islands since 1920. The islands have been under Norwegian rule. Its settlements far more northerly than any part of Alaska. All but a few of the Arctic islands of Canada are the northernmost permanently inhabited locations on the planet. The combined permanent population is less than 3,000, nearly all of which is. They are concentrated in the main settlements of the Longyear, Nirenberg, or Spitsbergen. 
The visitors come mostly to experience the Arctic's nature at its rowest. The islands feature untouched glaciers, craggy mountains, and fantastic wildlife such as polar bears, caribou reindeer, polar foxes, whales, seals, and walruses. Oslo Oslo, the capital of Norway, is situated in a picturesque location at the end of the Oslo Fjord with many nearby lakes and islands. The region, an important economic, cultural, and political center, has a long history dating back over a thousand years through innovative and contemporary architecture. Now, houses, much of the capital pockets of old wooden buildings are still found here, and there the city boasts excellent museums and art galleries, and it's vibrant. The country's capital is full of impressive architectural designs that highlight the contemporary feel about the place, as do the educational museums and exciting galleries. Oslo is one of the greenest cities in the world from the nearby hills thanks to its forward-thinking eco-friendly policies. This makes it lovely to walk around. Residents can find themselves skiing, tracking the forests, or sailing along the Oslo Fjord's waterways in no time at all. Sogne Fjord as Norway's largest fjord, Sognefjord offers enormous fun and adventure. Visitors here can choose from a wide range of exhilarating adventures like riding the world's steepest railway through snow-capped mountains and around cascading waterfalls. Other activities include hiking along scenic trails and cruising around the magnificent fjord and its many branches, such as Naira Fjord, the wildest and most beautiful chapter of the Sognefjord. This place is the most profound and most prolonged part of Norway. From the sunrise to the sunset, every view is breathtaking. Here you will experience the most beautiful lakes between impressive mountains. The greenery of this place is lovely. Every single season there is a unique nature view here. Lofoten Islands Lofoten is a group of islands in the northern part of the country, with its postcard-looking small fishing villages dotting a very rugged coast with sharp peaks rising directly from the ocean. The archipelago is often described as one of the most scenic parts of Norway. Although the archipelago is located well above the Arctic Circle, at about the same latitude as Greenland, it enjoys a relatively mild climate due to the circulation of the Gulf Stream. Temperatures up to 23 degrees Celsius in the summer are not uncommon, although it remains a sub-Arctic destination and the weather changes fast. Lying just off Norway's northwest coastline, the island is famed for its dramatic and distinctive scenery, which sees its rugged mountains rise impressively above the sea. Interspersed among its awe-inspiring peaks are secluded beaches, bays, and sleepy little fishing villages. The archipelago is home to picturesque pastures and sheltered inlets, with epic fjords dotted here and there connected to the mainland by a series of bridges and tunnels as the surrounding waters are rich with life. One of the primary industries of the Lofton Islands has long been fishing. However, Nirenberg, the archipelago, is located well above the Arctic Circle at about the same latitude as Greenland. It enjoys a relatively mild climate due to the circulation of the Gulf Stream. Temperatures up to 23 degrees Celsius in the summer are not uncommon. However, it remains a subarctic destination and the weather changes fast. Besides gazing in or at the scenery, the islands are also a great place to view the aurora. Bergen Norway's second largest city, Bergen, has been the nation's leading western port since the Middle Ages. Today, its 15th century waterfront in the Bregen district is, besides Famunsa, a working port and a tourist destination for visitors eager to sample fresh fare at seaside restaurants. Although Bergen makes a great home base for explorations of the scenic fjords around the city and neighboring islands, there's plenty to see within the city as well. A quick trip up Bergen's famous funicular is an excellent way to get oriented in a place known as the gateway to the fjords. Bergen set in a stunning spot on Norway's west coast, Bergen is surrounded by the spectacular Seven Mountains and is surrounded by several fjords and forests once part of the Hanseatic League. It has been an important trading hub and seaport for a long time and is now the country's second largest city. The beautifully preserved began which lies on the eastern side of the vegan harbor is the place to explore its seafaring history and heritage. You'll find homes and warehouses of colorfully painted wooden merchants as well as a few great museums, restaurants, and bars. The city has an exciting fortress for you to check out. 
In addition to its famous photogenic waterfront, Bergen has a vivacious and youthful feel thanks to its large student population. While its bar and nightlife scene is certainly worth delving into, the gorgeous scenery surrounding the city is also lovely to hike around. A quick trip up Bergen's famous funicular is an excellent way to get oriented in a place known as the Gateway to the Fjords. Granger Fjord with its remarkable scenery of deep blue waters and majestic mountains, it is no wonder that the Granger Fjord is among the most visited Norwegian fjords. When visiting here, a must-do is a sightseeing cruise on the fjord to view its astonishing beauty and its famous waterfalls, the Seven Sisters, which plunge directly into the fjord. Other exciting opportunities abound here like winter skiing, excellent fishing, canoeing, and hiking trails that provide some of Norway's most dramatic views. All the routes you will find here are full of mountains, cascades, and narrow roads. Finally, I can conclude that it's a fantastic place to visit. No doubt that there is so much adventure in every part of Norway. It's a complete package of mountains, lakes, cascades, plateaus, night skies, stars, wildlife, aurora bells, and many more amazing things. Whether it's a day or night in Norway, every single moment is lovely and unique. All the adventure lovers are requested to visit in once in their life. It's seriously worth staying there.